Hi, I'm Ty the Real Estate Guy and I'm a new home construction specialist here in Utah. Today, I'm continuing my tour of model homes to show you the different style of houses being built, the new home construction trends, and latest features builders are putting into their homes. If you like home tours or you're interested in new home construction, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell to be notified each time I post new videos. Today, I'm touring the Aspen floor plan built by Alpine Homes in the Lexington Green community located in Saratoga Springs, Utah. If you have questions or comments about this home or this community, I would love to hear from you. Please type a message below or you're welcome to call or text me. If you're looking to buy a home in Utah, as of April 2021, we still have homes for sale right here in this community. Okay, so the Aspen is a two-story home that gives you 2,121 finished square feet and almost 3,000 total square feet, including the unfinished basement. This house gives you four bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. Before we step outside to look at that home, I'd like to mention that it's one of three elevations Alpine Homes offers in this community. Just so you know, most home builders offer three or four unique exterior options so you can customize the home to your personal taste, but also to keep the homes looking different from one another in each neighborhood. All right guys, behind me, you see the Aspen floor plan. I'm gonna turn the camera around and we're gonna go take a tour right now. All right, you see no landscaping in yet. That will be coming shortly. And you've got a decent little porch here. Let's go ahead and step inside. Okay, stepping into the house, you can see a long hallway there, which leads to your kitchen and family room. You can head upstairs there, right here. You've got a coat closet and a half bathroom right at the front of the house. And this is a great location because uh, I probably get a little privacy here. See a nice little pedestal sink and a mirror. Okay. So let's go ahead and check out the main floor first. It's a nice open floor plan. You can see got a big open family room here. I'm gonna step into the corner and show you what we've got here. So you can see big open space here, large dining room. Uh, if you look out the back here, you can see this particular location. We have incredible views of the mountains. And then off to the right there is Utah Lake. Okay. So we're gonna move on back to the back corner here and show you there's quite a bit of space in this room. Okay. Then coming back into this corner here. Now we're in the back corner of the dining area. You can see there's a lot of space in this dining room and you have a nice wide open kitchen. All right, so got a big kitchen island here. We're gonna check that out in just a moment. First, I wanna show you this little mud room here. That is the door to the garage. Well, we'll just peek out there super quick. It's just a two car garage, but it is fairly deep in this location. And then if you look here, you can see you get a nice mud room bench and a little shelf above that. All right, so let's step into the kitchen here. Okay, so in this community, the kitchen comes with a gas range like you see there. Pretty much everything you see here is standard. So the refrigerator goes in that section. And then I love this big corner pantry that you see right here. So you can see there's a lot of space in this pantry. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'll show you the space from this back corner of the kitchen here. Let's go ahead and go upstairs and then we're done, we'll check out the basement right here. Okay, they got a nice little window there, give you some natural light. And I like the way these stairs bend, uh, you know, not just the big straight shot. 
I'm gonna start by going left here, but you can see right at the top of the stairs here, you got this nice little open space. And then uh, off to the left here, you have the guest bathroom. So you can see there, nice big space. And right back here, you have a shove, right? That's a shower tub combo. And then here we are in bedroom number two, because bedroom number one is always the master bedroom. I'm gonna go ahead and step into this corner here, back over here, just to show you the space in this room. Obviously in a 3,000 square foot house, these rooms aren't gonna be monstrous, but there's definitely plenty of size here. Okay, so stepping into the closet, you can see this closet is huge. This will leave a lot of people who buy older homes really jealous uh, because it's bigger than a lot of master closets and you have this cool window right here adding natural light once again. Okay, so let's head on out and check out the next bedroom here. Before we step into the bedroom though, you can see we've got a nice linen closet or a game closet in this location. See a lot of shelves there. And then we have bedroom number three right here. Once again, we're gonna step into this corner here to show you. This has plenty of size here. And once again, I think you're gonna like this closet because it's pretty much just like the other one. So these bedrooms come with great closets. Okay, now let's uh, check out bedroom number three. But before we do, kinda wanna point something out really quick. When you build this home from scratch, you actually have the option of not putting this wall here and you can make this a big open loft. So you could do three bedrooms with a large loft. In this situation, we did the fourth bedroom because in Utah, that's probably what 90% of our home buyers are requesting on the specific floor plan. And as we said in this corner, you can see, this room is actually probably bigger than the other ones, but the closet isn't as cool. We're just gonna open this other side real quick and show you kind of what you get here. So you can see they've added kind of double hanging closet space here. Okay, now we can check out the laundry room and then the master bedroom. So you can see here, they put a shelf above there and you got your washer and dryer hookups right there. Okay. All right, so in front of us, we have the master bedroom. I'm gonna step into the corners here to give you a feel for size. Once again, for a floor plan of this size, this is actually a pretty decent master bedroom. Stepping this corner here, you can see incredible views out that window. And then we got the master bathroom over there. I'm gonna step into this corner really quick and pan the room to give you an idea of size here. You could easily fit a queen size bed in here and actually this room is built to handle a king size bed. All right, stepping into the master bathroom and closet. First things first here, you can see some shelves are installed for storage there and they've done double sinks. Okay, so in this particular floor plan, we can put a separate tub and shower. In this situation, you're seeing only the shower. The reason we do that is because it makes this awesome closet right here quite a bit smaller if you add a separate tub and shower. But as is, you can see, in fact, let's just step inside here. This closet is awesome. You can see plenty of shelves and hanging space. Back here as well, we're gonna flip around and st step in this back corner so you can see there is a ton of space in this closet. And then of course the last thing we have is the little toilet area. And now we're gonna go ahead and race downstairs and show you guys the basement. In this particular floor plan, uh, or actually I should say on this particular home site, 
This uh, house comes with a walkout basement and that's because the yard naturally slopes off to the rear. Once again, because the stairs bend on the main floor, they're gonna bend in the basement. So heading on down. So straight ahead, you see an area where you could use like as a, maybe a storage closet or something. And then you come around the corner here and you can see the walkout basement, which is awesome. Okay, right here, you got storage under the stairs that actually goes back all the way there. The builder leaves extra floor planks and paint and things like that for the home buyers. And then right in this little closet here, you're gonna have your furnace and your water heater. Okay, so I'm close that up. And then we're gonna step into the corner here after showing you the walk out here. So you can see, you can just step right out to your backyard. And as we step into the corner here, you can see big open space here. Got your electrical panel right there. And if you look into the corner over there, that is your plumbing for a future bathroom. So most people are gonna put a bathroom bedroom, and where I'm standing right here is a family room. I'm gonna step into the other corner to give you a feel from this side. Okay. So a lot of people will just finish this as one big open space because you already have four bedrooms upstairs. And you can see the builder has already added the insulation around the wall, so you just need to finish the framing and add a few other things to finish this basement off. The home build process can be confusing and it's often overwhelming. So if you have questions about building a home or you'd like to understand the home build process better, I have loads of videos to help you out. I'll put links to some of the most popular videos below, but I would recommend watching one of these three videos first. How to buy a house from a home builder. What you should know before you build a home. How to save money building a home. If you have questions, please comment below. Or if you're looking to buy, sell, or build a home in Utah, you're welcome to contact me directly. Sincerely, I wanna hear from you. For more great home tours and new home construction videos, hit the subscribe button below. Also, you can find me on Instagram at Ty the Real Estate Guy. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and don't forget to ring that little bell to be notified each time I post new videos.